Now you've probably seen this drone before. It's the one that crashed during the Drone Bull episode. It has a fully custom built, full carbon fiber frame. And today it's been rebuilt better than ever. And I'm finally gonna give the system a full test. Now to make the drone suitable for field work, you need a way to transport the thing without damaging it. And that's what this box is for. I also wanted the box to be as low profile as possible in order to minimize space issues in my car. That unfortunately has the side effect of uh, needing the gimbal to be disassembled and reassembled from the drone every time. Let's have another look at that. The drone just did a flip. Now that's not unusual for racing quads, but for a stabilized video drone, good. that is very bad. And let's have a look at the onboard footage. The first throttle cut is when I started to notice the loss of signal. And then the drone did a full flip. It might be hard to see because the gimbal does a very good job of keeping the camera upright. Luckily, with quick thinking, I ran after the drone and got back into radio range and requested a return to launch. So, I almost crashed this drone today, you know, months and months of work, almost completely gone. Luckily I managed to save it. Um, and what I found was, as I was losing control, I was only getting around 20 meters of range. My transmitter just kept going beep, which, mean, which is what I get when I lose signal. And um, what must have happened was, this antenna broke, because it only started happening like halfway, uh, and that means it was going to fail safe. Um, luckily, the Pixhawk has a black box on it, and that means I can go plug this thing into the computer and find out what actually happened. Now, to clarify a few things, I originally believed that I had my failsafe mode set to return to land. And if that had indeed been set properly, the drone would have never gotten into freefall when it lost signal. The drone would only go into freefall if the throttle is set at zero. For some reason, Pixhawk's control software interprets zero throttle as no stabilization. So what I'm going to find now is when zero throttle was requested. You can find that in the radio input channels of Pixhawk's recording. And in my system, channel 3 is throttle. And indeed, throttle goes to zero twice. One probably for the first step, and the second one is probably when it did the flip. Now just to make sure that I didn't accidentally command these, I decided to check the other radio channels as well. And roll, pitch, and rudder went to zero, so this is definitely a radio fault. Now I was curious to see what roll and pitch looked like during the flip. Now this graph shows it dipping all the way down to negative 1.5 radians, which is of course 90 degrees. So it looks like it didn't actually do a full flip, but instead it rolled onto its side completely and then as soon as the throttle was no longer zero, it recovered. It also appeared to pitch back around 45 degrees when this happened. So it really just looks like that I haven't set my failsafe properly. So let me just check that. Right, so to check it, what we'll do is we'll go on to initial setup, radio calibration. So watch the radio channel, so my throttle's tracking my stick input. So if I go to failsafe, turn it off, 
it goes to it stays in stabilize, and my throttle is at zero. Okay, let's fix that. Yeah. Right. To do that, um, I'm going to put the everything I want to be in the position that I want to be in the failsafe. So throttle about halfway. Um, everything else at zero, and then I'll put the mode to RTL. And then I'm going to press this failsafe button. Right, that's the beat means it's done it. To clarify, this isn't the Pixhawk failsafe. It is the failsafe caused by my radio receiver. I use an Orange RX OpenLRS radio system. I set the failsafe by pressing the failsafe button on my transmitter module. So if I put everything back to stabilize, to to put the throttle like there and whatever, and then I'll switch it off to semi failsafe. There we go. Th that's good. That is what failsafe should be like. Cool. So it's done. So um, something like that. I think I'll draw a footing out of discovering that it should not happen. And it shouldn't happen. But okay. I'm not going to put the money on it. <laughs> <laughs> If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to the UAV Dude. We also have a Facebook page where we put more casual behind the scenes stuff, so make sure to check that out. And of course we're still searching for 101 uses for drones, so please put in the comments below what you want us to that try out next. That has been a recent YouTube involving red hot knife cutting through blank. Um, so what if we decided to drop the red hot knife from the drone?